Hey what's up guys it's Aptrix here and finally WinLater 5.0 has been released so let's take a look at the app info and here you guys can see WinLater version 5.0. Now this version of WinLater has some performance improvement and many changes but before starting as you guys can see I am recording this video with 2% charge so let's hope that my device survives till the end of this video. Anyways just 10 hours ago the WinLater 5.0 was released with improved performance, improved task manager, added option to change desktop theme, improved X input compatibility for games like Batman Arkham City, Sleeping Dogs and others. So basically these games work on WinLater Android. Not just that, fixed keyboard slowdown, GTA 5 and others. So GTA 5 also works on WinLater Android. There have also been other bug fixes and improvements. This version of WinLater was released on its official GitHub page so you can check it out. WinLater is an open source Windows emulator for Android which is Wine based. Anyways, once we open this brand new version of WinLater Android, Let's go to settings and right here you can see even in this version the oldest version of Wine is being used Wine 8.0.1 so I hope that in the next upcoming updates of WinLater Android the developer manages to upgrade it to the latest Wine versions for better compatibility with games like GTA 5. Anyways Box 36 version will need to select it as new along with Box 64 version. We'll select the preset as performance. As you guys know, this is the same performance preset which we get even in Mobox Simulator Android. We shouldn't really face any major issues. Turnip version is 24.0.0, the latest graphics driver. Use DRI3 extension has been enabled and, and the image file is also version 3.0 so with this update you still don't get a brand new image file. Anyways let's go to the container 1 option and right here you guys can see uh, we already created this container in our last videos. DX wrapper we have CNC D draw which is a brand new DX wrapper that has been added. We also get D8VK 1.0 but all of this depends game to game. So if you want me to test out this other 2DX wrapper then let's hit 200 likes on today's video. Anyways for today's video we'll go with our old reliable DXVK 1.10.3. We have also enabled all processor affinity but if we just go and scroll down now you can customize the theme of a uh, win letter or wine in wine configuration basically you can choose the desktop theme as light or dark you can also modify the background colors according to your preferences i like the black background with dark theme so we'll be going with that uh, we'll set the video memory size to 4 gb because uh, my device has 16 gb of ram once that has been done in DX components, direct sound and direct 3D is native windows. Once that has been done in advanced settings, make sure to select box 64 preset as performance. Same goes with box 86 preset, afterwards just go ahead and tick mark it. Now that our container has created successfully, let's just go ahead and run it and check out the X input or on screen touch controls as well because they have been improved along with the performance of WinLater Android so you can expect few more FPS while emulating some PC titles but there we go our Windows emulator has successfully started with dark background and yeah file manager has also been loaded. Let's go back and enable toggle full screen and as you guys can see uh, this theme looks pretty clean. Let's check out wine configuration and make sure that windows version is set to windows 7. And yeah the file manager appears to have been changed because now we get an search option like you see right here. I don't think previously we used to get this file manager. Another thing if we just head back to task manager you will notice that uh, the task manager UI has been improved by a little bit. If we want to close any app then just go and tap on end process and tap on ok and as you guys saw the process was ended. Let's just go back and toggle full screen and yeah I have also enabled input controls select it as virtual gamepad which has been improved by a little bit at least in this brand new update few new buttons have been added but anyways that's going to be it for today's video i'll see you guys in my next video where we'll be testing out some games on the winlater 5.0 sleeping dogs gta 5 need for speed games and much more so hit that subscribe button thanks for watching goodbye